Growing up, my favorite Atari game was Asteroids. I liked it in the arcade, but I also really, really liked the Atari 2600 version. It wasn't exactly like the arcade game, but it was so colorful and it still had that that don't don't sound that was really uh, visceral and it played great and it looked great and that's kind of funny because the arcade version of it ha had all these buttons to control it but actually one of the nice things about Asteroids on the Atari 20, 2600 was that it controlled great with the joystick and that was always one of the great things about the, the Atari 2600 that even with the more complex games, developers still had to map the controls to that iconic joystick and, and single button, which made all these games really approachable. My first Atari 2600 experience was, I guess it was back in around 1980, I was uh, seven or eight, and uh, I had taken money that was gifted to me up, up to that point uh, for, for various birthdays and functions and whatever. And uh, one of the first things that I bought on my own that was significant was an Atari 2600. So I cleaned out my, my bank account and uh, took, took that money and got an Atari 2600. Now when I got it home, the packing game was Combat, and that was a two-player two game, and I could only occasionally have people to play with. Eventually I got more games, but um, one thing that I remember um, distinctly was my mother um, coming in when I was playing uh, with Combat by myself. She was like, oh, you'll get tired of it. And obviously, I didn't get tired of it, and a whole generation growing up didn't get tired of it. So um, it was one of those uh, toys, one of those experiences that kind of stays with you for a lifetime. I think that the Atari brand and the Atari 2600 continues to have such a large, large following because it was really one of the first big home uh, uh, video game systems. Um, there were obviously video game systems before and after, but that was the first one to, to really make a big cultural um, impact. Atari was obviously big in the arcades and uh, they were able to uh, translate a lot of that magic to the home even though the hardware was limited. So um, even though um, even at the time the Atari 2600 wasn't necessarily the most powerful console out there, the quality of the games was still right up there with anything else on the market at the time. It was a lot of fun, it was approachable, and I think that a lot of the, uh, um, the appeal is this um, nostalgia of a simpler time, of a time when it was pure fun. You know, you didn't have to deal with um, cin uh, cinematics, you didn't have to deal with, you know, a whole bunch of crazy uh, controls. It was all there in the, uh, you know, in this uh, relatively modest uh, faux uh, wood-grained uh, uh, package. And, uh, you know, it's just for uh, uh, my generation and the generations around me, um, you know, it's, it's just these really great uh, memories that, that we'll always have.